Greetings, travelers, and welcome to Xenonauts. Uh, most of you probably already know what this is, uh, but for those of you who don't, I will briefly explain that this is basically an XCOM remake. Um, just kind of, kind of like what XCOM Enemy Unknown is, um, but this one is single player only, uh, and it is more truthful to the original. Uh, Xenonauts is still more is still in development. So the current build that I'm going to be playing is, is is one of the many alpha builds that have come out for people who have pre-ordered the game. You can be one of them if you um, choose to pre-order it. Uh, there should be a link in, in the description. Uh, so um, next stage would be a beta of the game, but uh, it is still now in alpha. Uh, there's a lot of stuff missing, obviously. Uh, but because there's a lot of stuff already in there, and because of that stuff, I decided to do a sort of partial playthrough of this alpha build here. Uh, I've taken a liberty to and uh, built a base and um, renamed some of the units to after the subscribers uh, and I'm just gonna load that up and uh, show you around the base. Right, this is the base here. Um, it's called Nothing to See Here so that the aliens don't notice it. Um, you, um, again, this I'm just basically showing this for people who are not aware of the situation, have not seen uh, Xenonauts or um, have not seen the videos that I've made of Xenonauts other builds uh, in the past. Um, so this is the Geoscape. Um, our base is in uh, North Africa. At this stage, there are no benefits from placing it in one place or another. But if you cover a large um, mass of land, then you probably have more chances of uh, stopping alien um, craft from landing and terrorizing and so on and so forth. So this is the initial base. I haven't even spent any money yet. I still have the four uh, million dollars that was given to me. Um, the year is 19, uh, I think 79. Uh, so this is an alternate al alternate history game, kind of. Um, so, you know, there's no internet. Uh, so base. This is the base very much similar to um, to the original XCOM base. You got all the base uh, parameters over here. You get the control room. Um, I don't even know what all of them are, to be honest. I haven't really um, done that much strategy level. Mostly, uh, I've played some combat missions. Um, so you got the workshop. You got laboratory. You know, what's this? That's the medical center, which is basically an infirmary. Uh, you got storeroom. You got radars. You got a missile uh, defense, missile battery. Uh, this is a garage. And then you have all these airplanes and a dropship. Okay, so what else is here? You do research, like in the original, like in, in the fancy AAA remake. You do manufacturing of things you research. Now, for now, we don't have anything to manufacture. Uh, we are researching alien invasion, as in kind of like, why are they invading us? Because we've been so good. Um, this is a team. I'm going to go into more detail about that. This is where you order your scientists, technicians, uh, and additional soldiers. And when the new soldiers come in, you have to kind of train them for a couple of days so they are not as uh, dumb as on the day they arrive. Uh, this is, I think, the storeroom, um, seems like. And you do transfers between bases. So you get multiple bases, you get base invasions. Um, and these are the troops. So let me quickly, these are the uh, reserves. Let me just quickly introduce you to you to them. Uh, you know what, let's just take a look first at our equipment and then the troops will be the last thing. So we got two tanks um, with missiles. You can substitute the missiles for machine gun, but I just like using missiles more because that's more fun. So this is Chug Chug and this is Chug Chug Jr. They look exactly the same because they're father and son. Um, these are our airplanes. Um, we have th uh, three F-17s. Yeah, and you can also upgrade them, blah, blah, blah. Right now, we only have the Sidewinder missiles and then autocannon. Um, you send, I think, up to three um, aircraft after UFOs. And the tactical combat is actually matters, um, but I'll show that off a bit later. Uh, okay, so I think that's... Oh, no, wait, we need to take a look at our dropship. So this is our Chinook, and um, there's the people in there. And we're going to discuss people in detail um, soonish. These are the portraits here. You may have already, some of you have already seen your names um, under those portraits. Um, apparently Timoniac and Pernatube are identical twins and I think maybe some other people? No, we just have one pair of twins. Is this? No, it's not repeating. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, that's how you sort of position your troops inside the ship. You can, for example, as far as I know, you can move this back 
and yeah and swap the, and the troops will be forward so they'll be the ones coming out first but i think this is probably a better idea um and uh yeah that's the only craft you have for now i haven't even played the game as far as to upgrade it but apparently in this alpha build uh, the research tree is mostly there or almost entirely there and almost all the descriptions are there but some of the late game tech is not balanced so using it is actually worse than using something that came before uh, but oh, I haven't even seen that I, I've only again like I said played a couple of uh, combat missions and uh, been satisfied with that but this time around I'm gonna do more or less complete comprehensive playthrough of what whatever is in this alpha but I'm not gonna show every moment of it instead I'm gonna have save files and it's always gonna be troops and maybe you, uh, in, the, in the next episode or the episode after that one your troop is not gonna be there in, anymore because they died and I replaced them with someone some other subscriber um, um, again because I'm doing I'm gonna do this because this is in alpha and I don't want to have some sort of boring moments because there will be boring moments where nothing is happening or some glitches are happening and so on so it's gonna be um, selective playthrough of the alpha build which number of which I don't remember but it's going to be in the description anyway all right cool so finally the troops let's go the ones that are operational now this is Pernatube he is going to be a sniper and he's carrying a sniper rifle this is the weaponry here that we have and uh, it's a clip grenade and a medic kit he's wearing uh, the, the armor there's two armors there's the basic armor which is basically a shirt and then you have kind of the bullet vest so he's wearing the bullet vest. It increases your weight, obviously, um, exponentially. But um, and if you come, if you get over um, a certain amount of weight, then your um, time units suffer. So, for example, if I were to give him, let's say, some C4, which I I don't know how to use to be honest, I haven't released it yet. So I've got to give him a bunch of C4. See, the more I give him, give um, more C4, I give to Pernatube the less time units he has. So this is a very classic thing going on here, time unit system. Uh, okay, let's move on down to Horigo. Um, he's also a sniper, so we got two snipers now, but Horigo is a bit weaker, so uh, he or she in this case is not gonna have any medkits or grenades or whatever. Um, Togurao is gonna be an assault, um, carrying a grenade and a flashbang, together with Savage Henry, who is also gonna be carrying a grenade and a flashbang. And they're both going to be wearing um, the basic armor, not basic armor, sorry, the Jekyll combat armor, because they're going to be going close up to the enemy and so on and so forth. I'm also, by the way, playing this on the veteran difficulty, which is like the there's insane, there's top difficulty, and there's veteran, there's normal, and there's easy. Um, I don't know if they're actually implemented yet because the AI is still in development and it's kind of basic. Uh, but I guess there will be increasing numbers of enemy if you, you know if you go to insane. So I don't want to lose everyone at the same time instantly in the first mission so I just went with veteran uh, okay so this is uh, Timoniac who is going to be a heavy and there's two different heavies so there's heavy uh, with um, uh, with a machine gun we got one of those two and there's heavy with the rocket launcher by the way can I give him another rocket yeah great let's just give him like loads of rockets no not anymore okay cool I don't want to sacrifice any time in this yet and then we have Stripe Lord, who is a rifleman. Uh, this is a smoke grenade, by the way. And then we have uh, another rifleman, who is uh, is Tachi, and Tachi is going to be um, also a medic, kind of. And their pure crane is is the guy with the machine gun, and all kinds of grenades. Basically, all the grenades there are is going to have four regular grenades, two smokes, and one flashbang, and this machine gun with another clip. And then Scorpy is the last person we have this time around. And Scorpy is also a rifleman or a riflewoman in this case uh, with two grenades because Scorpy can carry a lot more weight than other people. It's his strength is 59, which is pretty good. So we're going to try and keep Scorpy alive. All right, so that's our team. I think I more or less covered everything in the base. Uh, the research is happening. I'm going to order the people. Probably I'm going to order the people now. Let's just have more say what um, 10 more scientists I think that's it's probably a good idea don't really need technicians yet because I don't really know if I'm gonna when 
I'm going to be manufacturing something. I'll get them later. So how do I hire? Hire. Okay, so that should be in transit. And we spent $2,000 just like that. Right, so I'm going to go here. We can obviously speed up the time. And we have a UFO immediately. Okay, so center on the UFO. And intercept. So you can send, I think, any number up to three of your interceptors. I'm just going to send all of them now. And uh, hopefully it should be enough. I think the first UFOs are very basic scouts. They don't even necessarily shoot back. So shooting them down should be quite easy. So this is, I think, um, the two radar uh, what are zones, I guess, detection zones. So one is short range detection, which is 10 times more effective than the long range detection, which is 10 times less effective, believe it or not. Um, so short range, long range, and then the the aircraft themselves have also a radar. So if technically, if the UFO goes out of all the ranges here, um, but the aircraft is with, nearby, they can still follow it. I think that's how it works, unless they escape out of the atmosphere and into the space, then our aircraft obviously cannot follow them because they are that just that aircraft, not spacecraft. Okay, cool. So I think we'd be able to chase them down on land, hopefully, not over water. Yeah. Yeah, they're over land, so we are going to engage. This is Light Scout. Okay, so this is the air, air combat screen um, you can see here this is the target they are targeting you have several things you can do so let's see if the tooltips comes up after burner so you kind of make them move faster for a limited period of time while they're burning the fuel uh, faster I think well, where's the fuel fuel is 55 see so they spent half of their tanks to get there then you have um, evasive roll this is very important because when the aliens shoot back, then if you execute an evasive roll uh, at the correct time, then you avoid getting hit. But then it has a recharge time, I think. So you choose also which weapon they use upon the UFO. Um, and you can also disengage. I think this is retreat. And you can also change where they're going. Um, you're not necessarily, you're not going to be necessarily facing just one UFO. Um, you may be facing several or one big one with escorts. And so on. I have this is just. I think it's all already implemented in the game, but I haven't seen it myself. So let's. Uh, I think it's very straightforward. We can just bring this one down. Let's even go with all the afterburners, because that's just fine. All right, we're firing at them, and crash lands. That is exactly what we need. Cool. So we have a crash site. Um, let's spin the Earth a little bit. Right, and now we send our um, our Chinook after it. Oh, we got another one. There we go, second UFO right there. Engage. Let's do another afterburner. <laughs> oh, fuel level is so low. That's not good. Now nah, we'll get them, that's fine. And we have no more missiles. Ooh, right. This could be hairy. Hey, this one is gonna fire on us. Whoa. Well, let's try to do an evasive maneuver here. Two, which one is two? This one is two, right? Two, one. Let's do all evasive stuff here. Oh, nice. Come on, shoot him down. Oh, this one's injured. Wow, this card is... This is some fancy stuff. I haven't seen this before. Uh, return to base now, yes. Oh, we shut it down just in time. Cool. That, oh, that was, i never seen UFO behave so aggressively before. At that, at UFO that size, at least. Right. Let's get to our um, crash site number one. Hopefully there will be no more uh, enemies showing up this soon into... Oh, Jesus. Oh, maybe I should have played normal instead. Never mind, I can't catch them. It's too many. 
Right, so we are at the crash site. Let's do it. Right, so this is a, one of the new maps that has been put into the game. And it looks like fun. Except that there is not much cover you can use here. Um, ah, hopefully we'll be okay. Alright, let's pick out. Who's this? Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Alright, there's no one there. You, sir. Uh, this is uh, Pure Crane. We see a civilian. No enemies in sight. Okay, let's take our tank. Chug chug for a roll. Uh, again, for those of you who are not familiar with the game, um, that's how you just basically saw how the movement, the movement is executed. Oh, that's a very dense forest. I haven't... This map looks very different. It's very nice. Um, yeah, that's how the movement is executed. That's what I was going to say. Uh, you plan where you go. You see how many units are going to be remaining. So um, after I move there, it's going to be 21. And you move there. And this is if you want to... Um, say leave enough time units to have a snapshot so on and so forth but at this point i think it's better if we just scout let's go let's go here right no aliens to be seen anywhere and this is an armed civilian sometimes they help you out actually but not very often okay let's just keep moving people out Usually when people walk around, they make noises, but I guess not today. Okay, let's see how many people aliens will kill this turn. <laughs> I, I, for a moment there, I thought he was going to fight us. Okay, so we explored a large chunk of map. Um, there's no, no aliens to be seen. And uh, no aircraft, nor their, nor their craft either. Let's see. Gee, I hope there are aliens here. Oh! Yep, there are. There are definitely aliens here. Can I? No, not enough. Okay, cool. So, aliens are reaction firing, shooting us, which is good. That means they care about us. Okay, this is one of those lizard-type aliens. Now, let's see if we can do anything about it. What's our aim here? 9%. And if we do aimed, is 14%. I say we uh, divert the attention of the alien. So we go up there until we have only 30 left and then fire the snapshot. Right, 30, just enough for a snapshot. Kablam. Oh, there's the ship as well. I, th I think they're, um, the UFOs are nice looking. They are not haven't yet implemented the broken down thing. It used to be in alpha, but I think they were reworking it. And so it's going to be back, obviously, after being shot down. It's not going to look this pretty. Um, but I think it's kind of a placeholder thing going on. Right, back to the alien. Shoot in the face. Okay, that was damaging, I guess. Uh, not enough to kill, of course. But uh, do you have any movement left here? No. Well, that's too bad. All right, let's move up. Okay, now everyone has moved. Great. Oh, it's running away. See? Some sort of AI is in there. In the last build, they were just standing there. Not even really shooting you that much. Uh, but there's, this, I think, a separate guy now working on the AI. And apparently it's going to be pretty awesome. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay. So let's hunt down our one alien. Um, let's move here. Oh, there's two aliens. Wait. There's an alien inside the ship. Huh. Right, okay. Well, I don't really want to shoot rockets at the ship, though. It's going to go up there. Oh, there's the other one. Alien. Okay, so there's two aliens, but one of them is an invisible alien inside the ship. This could be a bit of a glitch going on. Again, the game is in alpha, so I'm just going to... Oh, I cannot... Why not? Can I, let's see, do that, 
You're the one, right? Strange. Ah, do it anyway. Okay, that didn't work out. I don't know what happened there. Right, so... We have also someone over there. Let's keep moving here. Cool, so everyone moved. Um, and some people will possibly now die. Oh, there you are. Ran out. The other guy keeps running, I guess, because he's wounded, maybe? That's the procedure. Yeah, that for now, the civilians do a lot of that. They just do, like, a bit of squatting, squatting around. Um, not the most graceful thing to do, but anyway. Okay. I really want to chase this guy down with the tank. Oh, hello. Yeah, maybe we should con concentrate on this one first. And what do you have? Uh, that's a shame. How much do you need to do this? 33. So I really wanna, I just really wanna, oh, it's too far away. Okay, 33. Let's try this out. Savage Henry, you may die, but uh, you will die for a good cause. 32, 36. All right, now you should be able to do that. 9%, okay, that's still good. Let's use the flashbang. Nah, I guess that was a miss. Okay. Mm, can you shoot him? By the oh, you can. It's great. Uh, what if you kneel? I think it's more or less the same. Now let's try uh, aim shot here. Twenty-three. Oh, nice. Let's try another one. No, that was a miss. Touchy. All right, cool. Now the tank. 28. Uh, I'll move down there to 40. So, can move over here. Oops. Yeah, and I did it. Nothing. Okay. So, we need 40 points to shoot. Right. 28%. Nice. And the alien is obliterated. Is there even anything left of him? Yeah, it's a cool death anyway. Cool. So one down. Hopefully the ship is not too damaged after it's been already damaged a lot. Give it a go. Ah, oh, no, come on. He just cornered himself. Oh. Okay, it was kind of realistic when he started running after um, being wounded, but that is a bit too much. So how much we need to do a burst? 45. Does anyone else have any uh, flashbangs? No. 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 Okay. Well, I just want to use the machine gun anyway. So, 45 for a burst. No, too much. Too much. 49. How about here? 46. Okay, do a burst. Oh, hit him. Nice. And can you not... No, it's burst. Okay, so... But there is no line of fire, I guess. Can you move up here? And now he... Oh, you still have no line of sight. No, no, no. I'm still talking about you, uh, Stripe Lord. Oh! Okay, that was a miss. Cool. Okay, 56%. Uh, on aimed shot and burst is 28% to that too bad uh, right can you move away no you can't let's just kneel now can you, you don't see him do you see him now do you see him now really you don't see him oh you see him okay 52% and wow it's a sturdy alien um, yeah, that's all we can do, really. Okay. Can you see him from there? No. No? No. Yes. Okay. 54 aimed. Let's do... How much do you need? 31, right? Let's do a, a kneeling. 64. That should be enough to take this one out. Very nice. And that's the last alien 
Hopefully biting the dust. Let's uh, see if we can get into the UFO. And there's a dead alien over there. Oh, I cannot reach it. Too bad. Well, that's the inside of the UFO. The way it looks now. Anyway. Cool. I should. I think... I'm just going to save quickly, but I think this should be the last turn. Alright, and that was it. So we got a excellent rating of um, 109 points, whatever that means. Kill two aliens. Um, two, one in of local forces. So basically a guy with the gun survived and two guys without gun survived. Uh, we had no casualties, lost no vehicles, and we got a civilian guard corpse, alien plasma pistol, alien plasma rifle, alien grenade, alien alloys, uh, in the quantity of 19 units. Uh, we sold the corpse, no, we destroyed the corpse. Oh, interesting. So, it's a dangerous corpse. We don't want, want that getting into some some restaurants and then being sold on as a uh, alien soup okay we got alien plasma clip uh which, which we sold we sold them because we cannot use them is this what hmm uh, very strange right cool and he says anyone being promoted no no one's been promoted but at least everyone's alive right Oh, and the Geoscape didn't crash. Great. This is going to be it for this first episode of uh, the partial selective playthrough of Xenonauts Alpha. I think this is the official name now, anyway. Oh, uh, do we have really a lot of research? Oh, yeah. So we can alien invasion and we can research civilian autopsy. An alien plasma pistol, and plasma rifle, and grenade, alien alloys. So like I said before, um, the next episode is not necessarily going to be the crash site number two. It could be crash site number seven or whatever. I, whenever I think that something interesting is, um, is going on, something worth your attention, I'm going to record it again. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep playing and um, seeing just what's up in this, uh, in this build. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I will see you next time, whether it be, uh, whether it be a Xenonauts episode or an XCOM Enemy Unknown episode or whatever it is that we'll be doing. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.